한다면 내가 어 미안했다 오늘의 일도 진짜요? 그래 이 바보야 Good morning. I hope y'all are doing well. Happy Saturday. Um, today is a... It's going to be... Excuse me. Today is going to be an exciting and productive day. Productive because I got to clean my apartment, edit a video, meal prep, and exciting because I'm going to Denver ThriftCon with a friend and then possibly snowball afterwards. Um, I also need to pick up my Target order um, that I made last night because I need toilet paper. I have one roll left and I I need more. So, yeah. But um, right now I'm just I just finished having breakfast and I'm currently watching Queen of Tears. Um, it's been out for a while, but I just started watching it. I've been reading a lot lately. <laughs> So I'm like getting back into watching some shows, specifically K-dramas, because I love K-dramas. They're so good. They're so funny. At least the ones that I watch. I don't watch like the extremely serious ones. Like I need, I need humor when watching K-dramas because the acting's too good for me not to have humor. But in this series, like there's a lot of actors who I've seen work together in previous projects and the chemistry that they have with one another and how they interact with one another is just top tier it's the best so yeah a busy day today running errands cleaning my apartment meal prepping all of that stuff and then going to Denver ThriftCon which I've never been to before so I I'm excited about it. It's also going to be an experience. And then another thing, on top of today, it's been raining the past couple days on and off, and now it's snowing. So I hope the roads are safe to drive on because when it rains and then it snows and the temperature is really low, which I don't think the temperature is that low, um, then the roads cannot be then the roads can be pretty unsafe to drive on. But when the temperature is like a little bit warmer, then it's not as like slick or icy. So you don't have to worry about sliding around all over the place. And it doesn't seem like the snow is sticking that much right now. So I should be fine to like go out to Denver ThriftCon. I mean, I doubt they're gonna cancel it because of weather. So, and it's inside, it's inside a warehouse. Um, to the event though, I can bring uh, a tote. I think you can only bring one tote bag. So I'm gonna bring a large one that I got from Ikea a couple years ago and use that. And my goal today is to spend under $100. I don't wanna spend over that. Ideally, it would be $50, honestly. Um, but there could be some really like interesting pieces that um, I might like and also like things for the house too it's like thrifting for not just like your closet but you can get stuff around the house as well I'm sure at least when I go to thrift stores I get like vases and stuff like that a lot of my vases are thrifted like these ones that I have my peonies my tulip peonies in them um, I got this vase for like two bucks and it's really nice and I have like another vase that I turned into like my um, brush holder for cleaning my dishes I got that for three dollars so yeah I just there's a lot that you can get out of their store um, I even got that chair so yeah I need to put away my laundry finish doing my laundry clean my bathroom, wash some dishes, meal prep, and then I need to go to Target and pick up some stuff because in the afternoon we are going to Denver ThriftCon 
and gonna hang out there for a couple hours and then go to snow afterwards so a fun and exciting day ThriftCon was fun. It was very overwhelming and kind of overstimulating. Um, I will say the one thing, if you do decide to go to ThriftCon, because they have them in different places, the next one is going to be in Portland. Um, it is not cheap to go to. Like, it is, I think it's like 15 18 dollars to go uh to like get a ticket and that's like the cheaper ticket they have a more expensive ticket i didn't need that expensive ticket to go there at an earlier time i didn't think that was necessary for me um so we just went at a more affordable time <music> Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. So I just finished editing a video and I'm uploading it right now and I'm scheduling it for tomorrow, which is Sunday. I learned a new skill on how to um, track 
motion when you're trying to blur objects. So Adobe can like track for you, but if it's like not tracking the way that you want it to, you can stop and like adjust it. So yeah, took this video took a lot longer than was needed, but I learned a new skill. So now I can like blur certain objects or certain parts of a clip in a video and have it get tracked instead of having to manually do it because I've manually done it in the past for a video and I was like, I wonder if there's a faster way to do it. Nine, time, time, ugh, nine times out of 10, there usually is. So glad that I looked it up on YouTube. But anyways, I am going to end the video here. Um, I... I haven't cleaned my bathroom, so I'm going to do that tomorrow because I am too tired and it's really late. And today was just like very productive, but also busy, which was good. So I got majority of the stuff on the list that I had today to get done, which was to have my apartment majority cleaned, meal prep, do laundry, edit a video, upload it, and then you know, obviously go to Denver Thrift Con, go to Snowell, and I did all of those things. I did all of them, minus cleaning my bathroom and finishing the dishes that I use to meal prep. Um, it's just some pots, but everything else is clean. So I'm just like, it's fine. I will do that tomorrow and save that task for another day. But I'm going to love and leave you. Um, today was busy and it was fun and it was productive. And yeah, just a really nice Saturday. Um, but I hope you are well. I hope you get to do something that you like or love for at least five minutes today. And that you don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing. Also, also, if you haven't already, subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all the things that I'm doing and comment down below, say hi, I say hi back and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.